Let's examine the following example. Let's examine. So let's Let's continue our discussion on transmitters. So when an alternating electric current is generated within electric generators inside power plants, that current then travels to cities and towns via power lines also known as transmission lines. Now those transmission lines, those power lines contain a certain quantity of resistance and as a result of that resistance, some of the power that is produced inside the power plants will be lost within those resistors. Recall that the power loss inside resistors is equal to I squared times R where R is the resistance and I is our electric current. So once again, electric generators in power plants produce alternating current that travels to major cities and towns via power lines. Since power lines have resistance, some of that power will be lost as heat. Now essentially to decrease the amount of loss as a result of heat inside the resistance, power lines transmit the current at high voltages. So if we increase the voltage, we'll decrease the electric current and that will decrease the power loss as we'll see in this example. So before we look at the following example, let's look at the following diagram. So an alternating electric current is generated inside power plants and that is generated via a certain amount of voltage. Now the voltage is first increased via a step up transformer so that the electric current inside the power lines travels via a very high voltage. Now before that voltage gets to the city, we use a step down transformer to decrease the voltage back to a usable quantity. So let's look at the following example. A power plant provides 150 kilowatts of power to a town not too far away. The power lines have a total resistance of 0.3 ohms. So in part A, we want to calculate the quantity of loss of power as heat within the power lines without a step up transformer or step down transformer if the power plant generates a voltage at 240 volts. So we're essentially omitting the following two transformers and we're going to explore the question how much power that is produced by the power plant is actually lost in the form of heat if the voltage is 240 volts. So let's begin by essentially calculating what our electric current is within our power lines if the voltage is 240 volts and if the quantity of power produced is 150 kilowatts. So we use the following equation. The power is equal to the current times the voltage. So we rearrange this equation and we see that I is equal to P divided by V, which is equal to 150,000 watts divided by 240 volts. And that gives us an electric current of 6 to 5 amps. Now when this electric current travels within our wires, it experiences a resistance and so the quantity of loss of power is given by the following equation. The power loss is equal to I squared times R, where R, it, where so the power loss, <coughs> so the power loss. So the loss of power within the power lines is equal to I squared times R where I is 625 M. We square that and we multiply that by 0 0.3 ohms and that gives us 117 kilowatts of power is completely lost as a result of that resistance. So that means the fractional loss is 117 kilowatts divided by the total produced of 150 kilowatts and that gives us 0 0.6 
seven eight so about 78 percent of the power produced inside the plant is dissipated into the resistance inside our power lines so only 22 percent of the power actually gets to the city or town now let's suppose in part b we use these two transformers so now suppose we use a transformer to increase the voltage to 18,000 volts. So now we have a step-up transformer that essentially increases the 240 volts to a voltage of 18,000 volts. Now we want to calculate the power loss. So once again, we follow the same exact steps. So we begin by calculating the quantity of electric current I when our power output is 150 kilowatts, but the voltage is now 18,000 volts. So our I is equal to 150,000 watts divided by 18,000 volts, and that gives us a quantity of 8.3 amps. So we see that when we increase our voltage, our current drops. So before we had an electric current of 625 amps, and now we have an electric current of 8.3 amps. So now we apply this equation to calculate the loss of power. So the loss of power is equal to I squared times R, where I is now 8.3 amps. We squared that and multiplied by R, which has not changed. So the power lines are exactly the same as before. So 0.3 uh, ohms multiplied by the square of our current, and that gives us about 20.8 watts. So we see that the quantity of power that is lost as a result of the resistance within our power lines is much less than before. In fact, if we take this quantity and divide it by 150,000 watts, we get a very small fractional loss. In fact, the percentage loss is about 0.01, much less than before.